Hello readers, welcome to Purple Pebble. Today I'm going to read Clifford Visits the Hospital by Norman Bridwell. Let's enjoy together. I am Emily Elizabeth and this is my dog Clifford. When he was a puppy, Clifford went to the hospital. Clifford wasn't sick. He went accidentally. My grandma was in the hospital and mom made some cookies for her. Clifford loves cookies. When we weren't looking, he jumped into the basket. At the hospital, Grandma thanked us for the treat. Then she said she had like something to read while she munched a cookie. So Mom and I went down to the gift shop to get her a magazine. What a surprise! Grandma loved having Clifford come to visit her. But dogs are not allowed in the hospital. Suddenly, Grandma heard footsteps. The nurse was coming. What would the nurse do when she saw Clifford? Luckily, the nurse didn't see him. He was too small. The nurse had come to check Grandma's pulse and take her temperature. To Clifford, the thermometer looked like a stick of peppermint candy. Ugh! That was not candy. It tasted like medicine. Grandma didn't have a chance to tell the nurse that a dog had just licked the thermometer. Yuck! The nurse had to give Grandma a shot. That's when Clifford decided to leave. He hates needles. Clifford zigzagged through people's feet in the busy hallway. He sped around a corner and dashed through an open door. The children were amazed to see a small red puppy in the hospital. The children had lots of fun playing with Clifford. Clifford was having fun too. And then some girls started to dress him up like a doll. Clifford couldn't wait to get out of there. Clifford was in such a hurry he didn't look where he was going. What a mess! One of the children came to the rescue. He found a nice safe place for Clifford. Clifford liked the nursery. He kept very still. A proud new father came to the window and asked to see his beautiful baby. Uh-oh. That's not my little boy, the father said. Everyone was upset. A nurse rushed out to find the man's real baby. The baby had been with his mother all along. Just then, mom and I came back from the gift shop. We told the nurse and doctor that we would take Clifford home right after we said goodbye to Grandma. Grandma was sorry that Clifford couldn't stay, but she was happy with the new dog we found for her in the gift shop. This one wouldn't run away. Now Clifford goes to the hospital from time to time to visit his friends and make them feel better. Good old Clifford. The end. I hope you have enjoyed the story. Be sure to like and subscribe and buy this copy for your home library to support the authors and publishers. Thank you.